Hello there YouTube, my name is Zeps and welcome back to the channel. Chilling Rain is the second best set in Sword and Shield. Sit back, relax, enjoy to find out why. Chilling Rain, or as you may call it Chilling Pain, is second best set in Sword and Shield. Well, that's very bold statement, and someone will say very crazy and wrong statement. But, hear me out. We'll first of all look at the Chilling Rain value of the cards, right? So we're just gonna compare last Sword and Shield sets, and we'll see how the card value stacks up against each other. First of all, we're not gonna talk about Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies is the best set by card value by far. But, then if you go to Chilling Rain, right? So look at the cards, top cards. You have Blaziken VMAX 166, Galarian Moltres 130, then the next cards are $83.66, and then it starts dropping, but still, all these alternate art cards are way over $20, right? So 60, 57, 48, 48, 45, 33, 32, and so on. If you would compare to, for example, so Crown Zenith, 144, 88, 87, 52, and already dropping. One, two, three, four cards over fifty. Five cards over fifty dollars. Silver Tempest. One card over fifty. One card over forty. Lost Origin. Three hundred. This is ridiculous price for this card. Ridiculous price. Then hundred fourteen. Forty four. Forty three. Only four cards over forty. Astral Radiance. 108, 46, 45, under 40. Three cards over $40. Brilliant Stars, which some of you will say is the best set. I really, really like Brilliant Star. I have opened quite a lot and I enjoy it. And the pull rates is very amazing. So that's why some of you will say Brilliant Stars is the second or third best set. But value of cards, 162, 71, 41. Three cards over $40. Fusion Strike, also very underrated set, really cool artworks. So this Gengar, 165, 146, 89, 43, four cards over 40. Right, uh, I'm not gonna talk about celebrations, it's that special, special set. Uh, let's check Pokemon Go, 41, only one card over 40. This is also a special set. What else do we have? Vivid Voltage, 170, that's it. Let's go back to Chilling Rain. 168, 130, 83, 66, 60, 57, 48, 48, 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nine cards over $40. That's almost twice as many as the next set. Just by this, I would say card value, if you're gonna buy them raw, Chilling Rain is the second best set. You, you, you can't fool the math, you can't fool the price of the cards, right? But, in, that's just in theory, and if you look at the card value, we'll need to check if actually you can pull these cards, that's a different story. Because, most of you also call Chilling Rain Chilling Pain, because the pull rate is absolutely terrible, absolutely horrible, very hard to pull. Very hard to pull any of these cards that are amazing looking cards. I would say one of the best alternate art works there is in the whole Sword and Shield. Right? Very, very cool artworks. And if you like the blue color, this is the set for you. Because most of them are blue. <laughs> Which is set for me because uh, my favorite color is blue. Can we prove in practice that Chilling Rain is the second best set? So we're gonna open ETB and show you why theory and practice doesn't work. Right, 
just before we open, you wouldn't believe what happened. I opened DTB and didn't press film. So <laughs> I opened DTB and didn't film it. <laughs> but we pulled um, Rapid Strike or Shifu, um, Galarian Zapdos V, Ice Rider Calyrex V, and then Celebi V Max Rainbow, which is awesome. But I forget to press film. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open second ETB. <laughs> uh, come on. Right, eight packs. Let me just check, we are filming? Yes, we are filming. Uh, open full ETB and then on second to last pack realized, well, we're not filming. Come on, focus. Today is absolutely terrible focusing day. Golurk. Hmm, very cool Gardevoir and Sandaconda VMAX. Very cool. First hit from this ETB. Four packs to go, only one hit. Spiritum non holo. Yes, I, I do agree that for better purposes we should have opened booster box to get the best pulls because from the booster box you can get at least one secret rare so it would give you a better chance to pull like one of the awesome looking alternate art cards but I just wanted to show you if there is a point to opening these ETBs and Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Second VMAX. It's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Two VMAXs. In the future we'll definitely open Chilling Rain booster box as well. To go back to my point that on in theory, yes, by the card value. If you just buy raw cards, then yes, Chilling Rain would be second best Sword and Shield set. And boom, Hatarena Halo. But by pull rates and actually opening and trying to get them pulled, no chance is the second best. Agatha, Rapid Strike Scroll of the Skies, Bon Suite, Furfro, Furfro, Diglett, 
Larvesta, Ink A, Kakuna, and Malamar non halo. Right, in our first ETB that I didn't film, we pulled Rapid Striker Shifu, uh, Galarian Zapdos, Ice Rider Calyrex V, and Celebi V Max. So one gold card, which is cool. And then the one we filmed, Hatarena Halo, Sandaconda V Max, and Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Very, very cool cards. To be fair, was a bit surprised that we pulled two very cool cards. But like I mentioned, in theory, yes, Sword and Shield Chilling Rain is the second best set, but pull rates shows you that it's definitely not the second best set. Like Brilliant Stars definitely beat it in pull rates. Also now Crown Zenith beats it in pull rates, so there's definitely better sets in pull rates. But card value, buying them raw, Chilling Rain is the second best set. Let me know what do you think about this theory. Make sure to leave a comment. You agree, you disagree. What is your idea of the second best Sword and Shield set? And make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it. the opening. And nothing else to mention. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye.